How are we doing guys? It's your boy Prophet here and on this episode, as I said on the last episode before, we are going to be doing the Blacksmith's Blues. We're going to hunt the griffin. I literally looked round <clears throat> off camera all around this area. I went up to the Dragon's Eyrie, Northreach, combed all the way through Clareview, then went to Care Northern, flipping uh, Gate, went all the way to basically Mournbrum. And then I was like, where where the hell is it? I thought originally it was over here. So I spent like 15, 20 minutes over here. And then I went all the way to Lost Wing. I was like, okay. Well, it's not in Lost Wing. So I went back down to um, Aurabella Downs. Checked all around here. Killed everything around there. Uh, went back to Lost Wing. Uh, got a few uh, more items. Like just refreshed my inventory again. And went through all here. And now we're here. And I looked... And turn my camera around, and guess who's behind the tree? This little ragamuffin. Griffins don't exactly make for easy prey. Let's hope our craftsman hasn't bitten off more than he can chew. Well, hopefully the griffin hasn't bitten off more than he can chew against us. Come on, Clive. Giddy. Let's go. Sorry, griffin. But you're about to die. <laughs> Dosmir, rank B. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's get this going. Lock in. Another worker will have to wait. Mogul, look sharp. Why aren't you locking in? Lock in. I and I completely missed you. Right, let's go. Rising Phoenix and then Ignition. You ain't gonna do nothing, mate. Bring it. Come at me. Alright, miss me. Rise and flame, ignition. Go all the way around it. Just missed him. I like doing the Guru's attack because of. Let's get out of the way. Let's go. Ignition again. Well, no ignition, but you know what I mean. What well, that didn't work, did it? Completely missed. Go. Does me. Okay, road to redemption. What are you? Lure an enemy to a strike in the rod three times before it dissipates and screen back. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, some flames. Do ignition. Get him stuck, get him stuck, get him stuck. There we go. There we go. Don't care. You're about to die. Whoa, whoa. Oh, you little bugger. Potion. Come at me. Miss you. Ha <laughs> ha. Stop it, I don't care. I'm getting you done. Oh, God. Alright, the flame. Ignition. Just get stuck, just get stuck, just get stuck, just get stuck. There we go. Right. Oh, you little bugger. 
Got him. One. Fight me, fight me, fight me. Oh, you little bugger. Take him. Where are you going? Miss me. Flames. Gouge. It's over. <laughs> Notorious Mark Slew. We should be level 27 or 29 now. I forget. Level 27. That's not still... It's a general gradual. So we've got uh, Scarlet, uh, Scarletite. From Hospital Brother, used for crafting and used for crafting. Not too bad. Not too shabby at all. It's a bit like Witcher where we carve his head off and have it attached to us. Attached to Torgo. That would be gruesome. Something there, boy. Yeah, a dead griffin. Could that be our man? Most likely. Oh, no. Imagine that. Yeah, I'm injured. Right. And then no, Clive just goes up to him and stabs him in the face. Dare say I'll survive. That griffin caught me before I could get an arrow off. Must have lost sight of me in the grass, though. I'd be dead if it hadn't. More likely than not. The name's Camille. I'm a lowly leather worker, if you couldn't tell by the smell of me. Not so lowly from what I hear. Do you remember selling to a merchant by the name of Karen? Sir, she's not an easy woman to forget. Bought a caress from me after I lost my buyer. Quite taken with my work, as far as I recall. Didn't stop her bartering me down to a pittance, though. <laughs> she sent you for a refund. It's not her who sent me. Well, consider me flattered. You should be. He's a master of his art, and not an easy man to impress. Blacksmiths are proud folk. It's a rare thing indeed for one to praise a glorified tanner. And I don't imagine an impressive swordsman like yourself would be getting your steel from any but the best. I'd dearly love to help a fellow craftsman, but... Well, actually, I suppose you could give him this. What is it? Treated leather. Same stuff I used to make that caress. If your man's as skilled as he sounds, he'll know what he's looking at. You sure? Well, you did save my life. And thanks to you, I'll be going home with all the griffin hide I can carry. I'd say it's the least I can do. Short of showing him how to make the thing myself, that is. But there are rules against it. Secrets of the trade and whatnot. In that case, I'll see that he gets it. I'd be much obliged if you would. Right. I've got some griefs to make. You send your blacksmith my regards. Will do. And thank you. Hopefully this will sweeten Blackthorn's mood. Right, got hope. We've got treated level. Speak with the butcher at Martha's Rest. Uh, in all fairness, we can do that actually as well. So why don't we go on to our maps and go to Martha's Rest? Let's travel to Martha's Rest and speak with the butcher. <coughs> and do it that way. It's not too bad. Martha's Rest, Imperial Province of Rosaria. So we've basically done blacksmith blues. Thank you for sticking with us. Well, can hopefully can do exactly the culinary pilgrimage at the same time. Ah, oh, welcome. Times may be hard, but if you got the gill, I got the goods. What can I do you for? Unwanted violets, if you have them. Though I'd gladly settle for learning what they are if you don't. <laughs> Boy, I haven't heard folk call them that since I was a lad. 
You're looking for scorpion tails. Unwanted violets is what folk used to call them back in the day. They turn a wicked purple when you boil them up. Hence the name. Used to chuck them in the pot when there weren't nothing else on offer. And there was a war on that sort of thing. Thankfully, times aren't yet as hard as that. And even if they were, you wouldn't find anyone selling them these days. Do the scorpions still live nearby? I dare say they do. Three reeds would be your best bet. Memory serves. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Okay. Search for nearby swamps of scorpions. Uh, we're gonna see, because I did use a thing, so we're gonna... What are you after? No, I just want, um... A few things. Oh, fucking hell, I don't want any of them. We've got everything here, so we're gonna hold purchase so we can there get all four. The Founder's Footsteps orchestration we've got. Um, take it to Patrick Oh, yeah, we do need to start doing that as well. Hmm. That all, is it? Yeah, but I need to save up at least, like, a, I don't know, about 100,000 gil. Stay sharp. Because then, in all fairness, with getting all the uh, like parchments and that, I think they're around about twenty thousand gil a pop. So I don't know how many there is. No idea how many actual parchments there are, but let's go! Gallop! 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 Jump! Wee! So yeah, I'm planning to obviously get all the parchments, uh, try and get as many trophies as I possibly can do without looking at the trophy thing. Uh, not look and without not looking, but I still look. Just I do my best not to give myself any spoilers. In all fairness, Scorpions. let's go. Oh, the little fuck is it? What? Did I just drop? Why, mate? What's wrong here? Go! Why ain't you getting hit? That was annoying. Five, six. Rising fist. You're one more finished. hit. There you go. <laughs> I was thinking, is there one more hit? Do I need to go one more hit? I don't know. Excuse me. I do. I do try and keep my stim to a minimum. I better get this back to a villain before it goes bad. Yeah, I do really do do my best to keep my stim to a minimum when I'm recording because I know sometimes I can be a bit of a bummer. So I think they're all in the hideaway. Yeah, they they both are. See what I mean? This is what I mean. This is what I mean. First, what, 10 minutes of the video? We've done both side quests. And then there's the main mission. We'll speak to Van first. By getting the unwanted violets. Did you find our mystery ingredient? Hand over. I did indeed. Marvellous! Let's see. <gasps> what am I supposed to do with this? It's poisonous, surely. You wouldn't be wrong. But that's your unwanted violet. Uh, into the pot it goes, I suppose. Uh, wait here. I won't be long. Please don't kill Clive, mate. Please. I present Chances Stew. I thought he was going to say can from the Cancer Stew. Obscurity. That's a good bloody Grab hell. A spoon, Sid. Let's eat while it's hot. I'm mad. 
not hungry. <laughs> well, it'll be too late once I've licked the bowl clean. Your loss. Oh, I love it. Uh, Clive from cracks you up. Uh, I'm not hungry. <laughs> oh, oh, teeth. What a salt on the senses. It's like choking on swamp water. And, and yet, up through the pungency, there rise complex, meaty notes. It, it takes a moment to recover from such an onslaught of flavours, but never have I tasted anything so fine. Thank you, Sid. Thank you. Really? You're, uh, welcome. I must share this gift. I won't rest until a steaming bowl of Chancer's stew sits before everyone in the hideaway. A single mouthful, and Molly will be breeding scorpions of her own. I'm sure she will. <laughs> Clive's not too impressed. He's like, um... I don't know about that, but you keep dreaming, boy. You keep dreaming. You keep dreaming. Oh no, that that still looks like bleh, looks like gone off diarrhea. That's like got purple mold over it. Bleh. That monster's taken quite a liking to Lady uh, Be a lark. Clive might even find the geezer. I have. Busy. I haven't stopped talking about me that I'm not already there. Know, Clive, did you find him, or does the hunt continue? I found him, and he asked me to give you this. Along with his regards. Treated leather. Oh. You're joking. He said he wouldn't teach you how to work it, but that if you were as skilled as you sounded, you'd have no trouble understanding how it was done. So that's his secret. Crafty bastard. He's layered and cross-grained it. Good few times, too. No wonder it's tough. And that's no ordinary oil he's used to get that finish. Oh, this is fine work. Even finer than I thought. Yeah? I'll take your word for it. Just looks like leather to me. Still, I'm glad you're happy. Here, Clive. You didn't happen to catch the fella's name, did you? Camille, I believe. I thought as much. There ain't many level workers in the realm daft enough to do their own hunting, see? And his name kept cropping up when I was asking around. Turns out, he's from Tabor. And again, most level workers are. But our friend Camille guards a long-held family secret, the details of which are the subject of some debate in the level working community. Then we better keep this close to our chests. Listen, sorry for putting the both of you to all that trouble. Should have kept my moaning to myself. Still, I'm glad you found him. This has cheered me right up. That was the idea. Clive's idea, anyway. He did most of the work. It's good to have you back, Blackthorn. Just don't expect me to go turning out work like this. There's a reason he does his own hunting. He knows exactly what eyes to look for. And that's how he gets them to layer up so nicely. <laughs> Don't get me started on how much oiling this leather would need. But I reckon I can make something about as good. Something a curse breaker will have no trouble caring for. Anyway, enough narrowing. I've got work to be getting on with. I was going to say, I, I, we, as Clive, did most of the work, the cheeky bastard. <laughs> Looks like we won't be needing a new blacksmith. As if there was a better one out there. I wouldn't have been the same anyway. No one spins a yarn like old Blackthorn in his cups. <laughs> right, now that's sorted. I've got duties to attend to. Thanks, Clive. You've given me my mate back. Quest complete. Oh. That's not too bad. So we've got 125 Dark Slave gear design draft. <gasps> Do I have to do steps to craft a belt and in... Uh, and then braces fit for hero. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, you see, this is why I like doing side missions, guys, because you unlock cool shit. 
It's not all about the main story, you know. You have Untaker, design draft of dra uh, Drake's Slayer gear. Design drafts on not new crafting. Black, uh, options at Black Hammer. Visit Black Form in the hideaway details and materials and requirements. 100% uh, doing that right now. Back here, yeah. Hi, Black Fawn. What's that for, you, dear? I love you. You dirty bastard. What do we need? Electrum. Okay, so what do we need? How am I meant to do that then? And then we need gluttonous mass. Fuck it. That is a lot. Holy jigglebums. So I need Electrum. We've got enough. That takes one, that takes one, that takes 20. 49. Okay, so we got literally more, more than enough. I don't know where we can get gluttonous mass and Electrum. She's From... taken quite a liking to Lady Karen. Um. Well. So we've got you. Our teams. There's quite a few actually. Patch from Vendor. Acquired in the hideaway. Ooh. So there is quite a few. I love that. The sound of silence. Mm, nothing gets played. Beautiful. Absolutely well, beautiful work. Gawping. If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. Alright, you cheeky fudwitch. Crimson tassels increases limit rate generation about three percent when dealing damage. Automatically charges magic spells and maintains a charge until cast. Accessory effect will not trigger unless the ability charge magic is learned. Oh, okay. Ah, so these are the two songs. It's eighty. Eighty. That. Okay, hell, man. We've got Limbo and Victus. Uh, okay. Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not no, I'm gonna need to way. try and figure out where we can get Hall of Virtue Arkham as stage of play. Uh replay the previous cleared stage, but at current level, treasure offered data is retained. Replay a previously cleared stage but awarded on a score based performance, restrictions on level gear consumables and game action focus on virtues. Honey skills, okay. Right, I'm gonna crack on with the main story. I don't think there's anyone we need to talk to. We've got the reading table. Oh, the wall of memories. Let's have a look at the wall of memories first. About 20 ish minutes, that's fine. Yeah, about 20 ish minutes, that's that is fine. Yeah, Just gotta to catch up with a few other things, ladies and gents. That's what we gotta do. Have a look at the reading table. All quiet in a million. La 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 la. If you want to read that, pause it. Actually, don't pause it. I'm going to read it. The Dalmex and the Imperials are at a standoff. They snarl at each other, fangs bared like slum curs, but neither wants to make the first move. It's almost as if they both realise what a stinking pile of chocobu shit they've stepped in. If I were a man to lay a wager, I'd put it I'll put my copper on this conflict not playing out any time soon. I shall keep you apprised. Gav. A flame non brighter. My lord Marquess. Mar Marquess. I ask once again for you to forgive my men for your welcome back at the Lazarus. But certainly you can understand that you were the last person any of us were expecting to see at our gates. In the short time since our reunion, you have shown yourself to be a self-same um, self man I have followed into Stillwind those many years ago. A true bearer of your father's legacy. If only Sir Tyler, the Lord Commander, and all the others were, who were lost that night were still with us to see how bright your flame now burns. To you and your cause, I hereby pledge the swords of the Guardians, and I am proud to stand alongside you once again, Wade. It's not too bad, an apple a day. 
lad from the yard ran up a basket of martellas just this morning sweet as a honey and crisp as the morning breeze as they were i told myself i was only going to have one but i reckon if no one else listened to old otto i don't have to either you let nigel and his lot know they've done a fine job what was a time you'd catch none but sid supping the supping on these what for their foul bite but for him it never were about the flavor but what about they represented our ability to make it our on our own and look at us now sid would be proud i think sid would be proud a bird by any other name nah <laughs> let his wifey forgive my insistence on writing you all these silly letters would that have more time to speak to each other in person but for every day we spend together it feels like we must suffer another two two apart i am gladdened to hear of your utmost unexpected reunion with ambrosia or should i say whiteheart you told me once how your chocobo sacrificed herself to protect you that night at Venus gate and here so many years later we find she has spent her life doing the exact same thing defending others some things never change do they clive ah wifey she's always been with us look she wait where, where is she oh what the fuck wifey where have you gone so we got the oath and that's it oh no we got uh ambrosio's tack and martella apples so we're slowly collecting more and more stuff so we've done you done you and all we need is now the Patron Whisper, Alien Report, it's the Hunt Board. Where is Ah, oh, there he is. Uh Thousand Tombs. So we do need to speak to him dust. as well. Just want to try and get like everything we need to in the hideaway done, because you never know. It could unlock more side quests. And then that could be like the uh after we've done with uh main mission. You never know. So obviously, like I said last episode, that is the plan. Uh, do a main mission or two main missions, then do side quests. Is there something I might assist you with, Clive? Uh, ask about Tech Crow. No. Um, I have a few new notes that might interest you. Clive's tale of Chris of his adventures with the updates to Toes. So we should be level three. Accent and Excitopedia. Nearly today. four. Fucking hell. Content call on the founder. Bloody hell. Fear and uncertainty reigned in those early years following the sins of D Desmeckis not wanting to further incur with the wrath of their heavens. The few who survived the fall took to wandering the land, sparing magic and staying to the shadows. And so they lived for decades. One man, however, grew tired of this life, if it could be called that, and after bidding his companions farewell, climbed a grassy knoll overlooking the forest beach and Adler. Here, he gathered a pile of rubble and used it to build a humble shelter in which he spent the night. The next morning, however, instead of abandoning his work, as was his people's wont, he gathered more rocks, adding to the structure until the shelter had become a shack. This he continued for days, weeks, until the shack had become a home. At first, those who wondered what... Ugh. At first, the, those few wanderers who passed the knoll would shun him, cursing the man under their breaths for his hubris. <laughs> ah, la 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 la! But ha has, but, um, oh, great. Um, what did it say? Uh, but as his estate grew and one building became two, and two became three, the people began to show. Uh, slow their steps and it was not long before some took to joining him at that knoll gathering some stones building new lives new destinies give me one second this they did without magics or machines with without boon or blessing they relied on naught but the hands and other shit I'm plugging it in yeah he's charging Disconnected my ass, charge you bastard. Uh, without being a blessing, relied on naught but the hands, their backs, and their wills on and each other. Slowly, the house gave way to village, village to town, and town nation. This man would one day die, uh, as all men do, but those who remained continued his legacy, expanded upon it, and though his name was eventually forgotten, his spirits lived on in this day in the hearts of all Rosarians. 
Fuck off. Is that how it... Uh, oh my god, that's mad. Is that how Rosaria became Rosaria? That's crazy. The Continental Accord. Uh, an international pact was made at dawn of the present era in which matters as the treatment of bearers and the establishment of the realm-wide currency were laid out. It formed the basis of much of a Valisitium society as it stands today, including the branding of bearers and their status upon non-persons. It has also put in place the Universal Calendar, marking a symbolic fresh start for mankind, albeit one which put magic users at a crippling disadvantage. What subject shall we consider today? Damn. You are always welcome, Clive. That is crazy. Did you come to borrow a book, no, I did not. Fuck off, kid. That was rude of me. Sorry, kid, but still, fuck off. <laughs> um, yeah, well, we're going to speak to Vidian. Here be monsters. Uh, and we'll see where we go from there. So we're level four on the Hippocrates. Uh, and here Back we start. Again, Lord Rosfield. I'm touched that you should find me such good company. <sighs> It is not your company, but your counsel that I seek on this occasion. Ah, <sighs> ever the charmer. What will it be today, then? The Iron Kingdom. I need to know what to expect. You'll soon be setting sail for Drake's breath, then, I take it. The mother crystal that rises from the boiling sea. There was a time when a true-blooded Rosarian had only to brave the waves to visit it. But then the iron blood made their move. We're gonna get a big backstory now. Woo! I love the backstories. It's like watching a film. As you know, the Iron Kingdom rules over the islands to the west of Storm. Or rather, its church does. But this is not the pragmatic approach to state religion employed by the Holy Empire to manipulate the masses. No. The Iron Kingdom is the literal embodiment of the crystalline orthodoxy. And so, if one is to understand it, one must start there. As the name implies, the orthodoxy holds the Mother Crystal sacred, and they do not take kindly to heathens plundering the objects of their worship for the means to fill wash tubs and light lamps with frivolous feats of magic. Indeed, the faithful consider ether a sinful thing, a poison, no less. And to them, a dominant is an instrument of evil, albeit one they have proven only too happy to turn against their enemies. Some 80 years ago, in Northern Storm, Drake's eye collapsed. Soon after, in pursuit of Aether, and with the Blight at their backs, the Northern Territories descended upon the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. And when the Shields of the Flame marched north to meet them, the Iron Kingdom spied an opportunity. A few short days later, the Crusaders landed on the island of Mount Drastanus, home of Drake's breath, and plucked it from the Duchy's grasp. Rosaria tried to reclaim it, of course, but to no avail. I doubt more than a handful of Duchy men have set foot on its shores in your lifetime. Nor are they like to again, under the Empire's stewardship. Meaning the Iron Blood will keep their island. And with it, the foothold they need to march on mainland soil when next they spy an opportunity. The Mother Crystal is both the object of the Iron Blood's worship and their gateway to the continent, making Drustinus the holiest of holy grounds from which the Orthodox Crusade shall one day sail forth to claim the remaining Mother Crystals, or die trying. My father and my grandfather both traded blows with the Iron Blood for control of Drek's breath. Had things unfolded differently at Phoenix Gate, we would have sent our entire fleet against them. But instead, they sent their fleet against Rosaria, sacked the capital, killed the men and captured the women including Jill I'd say you'd be forgiven for wanting a little revenge Clive my only aim is to destroy the mother crystal Ben thank you all the same not much else to do here 
Let's see if Jill's ready. Like, literally, I, it is like watching a film. I just sat back on my chair and started twiddling my thumbs and playing with my hair. Oh, yeah, one thing about me is I play with my hair a lot. Not my pubes, my actual hair. You dirty fuckers. It will be over <laughs> soon. Hey, wifey. Let's go on an adventure. Are you ready? I think so. Jill. When you told me you had to come to terms with your past, you weren't talking about destroying Drake's breath, were you? No. I spoke of Imran, the leader of the Crystalline Orthodox, the man who made me do all those unspeakable things. I'm going to kill him. It's what I need to do to put the past behind me. What I need to move forward. And I know that I can do it. If you're there beside me. Always. And I'll be beside you, too. We'll bring down the Mother Crystal together. All while Sid looks on. We'll make him proud. Kiss. Make the journey to Drustinus. There is nothing else to do, like no other side quest to do. So what we are going to do, guys, is that is going to be it for this episode. Wait for next week and you'll hear about how we made the journey to Drake's breath and, you know, destroyed the Mother Crystal and all the other jazz we're going to do. If you like what you see, give a like, subscribe, I love you all, and I will see you on the next one. Sweet.